let's talk about a perfume which has got the best authentic Mysore sandalwood note in Western perfumery. Hey guys, welcome to my channel Intellectual Sense. This is Dev Jyot. Now, in today's topic, we will discuss about a perfume called Richwood from House of Church of. Now, when I started this channel a couple of months back, I kind of made a promise to my viewers that I will talk about perfumes which cost 500 rupees uh, and perfumes which cost about 50,000 rupees, uh, which are ultra niche uh, luxury fragrance. And Richwood is in that can category. It's uh, ultra niche luxury fragrance. Now, let's start with the presentation first and then we will move on to the review. So let's start with the presentation first. Uh, the, it has got an outer layering uh, which, where the George of is written. It has got the name of Richwood uh, with lot number and how much uh, oil it has got. I think it has got 25% oil in it. Um, now, as we open this particular perfume, the inner layering has got the name George of uh, written on it, XJ also and this layering has got snake pattern i think it's a leather in a snake pattern which is very luxurious uh, very upscale and as you open it up you will see there is a plaque uh, and that plaque has got uh, it is a limited edition batch basically only 499 bottles were created and this one is named 199 the bottle of this particular perfume is amazing. If you look at the cap of it, the cap is inspired by Egyptian pharaohs, which is so original in my opinion. And it has got an amazing presentation. There is a stone label on it and the name Richwood 1717 written on it. Excellent, excellent presentation. Italians do the best presentation by far. And this is no different. This is clearly 10 out of 10 in my books. Let's start with the review of this fragrance. Let me spray a couple of sprays of it. And the opening of this particular perfume has got some fruity accords along with uh, citrus notes also. But this particular opening only lasts for two minutes and then it fades away and then you see the dance of patchouli and rose. Uh, they are dancing for next 30 to 40 minutes and this dance is beautiful. And after that 30 to 40 minutes, you will see the entry of Mysore Sandalwood, uh, which is the protagonist of this particular perfume. Now, Mysore Sandalwood has not been used uh, a lot in Western perfumery. Most of the sandalwood note you see in Western perfumery is uh, actually an Australian sandalwood or a synthetic compound of it. It's uh, extremely rare to get Mysore Sandalwood uh, because of the scarcity of that particular note. So, so that's the reason it's one of the most expensive fragrance also. Now, after the sandalwood enters the fray, uh, the patchouli and, and the rose is giving a very good company to it. Patchouli is providing the sharpness to it and the rose is providing the sweetness and the darkness to the sandalwood. Now, this whole aura stays for next four to five hours. And after that, uh, you, in the dry dawn, you see the entry of vanilla and amber. Now, amber is being derived from labdamum, the labdamum flower, and it adds to the whole regalness of this particular perfume. Now, if I have to give you an analogy of how it smells like, it smells like a prince, prince who is smelling very sharp, very rich, and that prince has got a kind of a wine in his, uh, in, in his hand. And the wine accords are coming, I think, from black currant also. Uh, so the whole, aura of it is uh, very sophisticated now in terms of uh, longevity it lasts close to 8 to 10 hours i think close to 10 hours on my skin if obviously if you go on your clothes it will last much longer and the projection is in kind of a feats uh, in a way uh, and uh, sila you will leave your centrails there's no doubt about that uh, and uh, and talking about centrail the complement factor of this particular perfume uh, is quite high. Actually, I feel you will get more than compliment. You may get envious glance because how it smells. It smells very rich, 
and very powerful so people will ask you for what you're wearing because such, it's a, such a unique blend and uh, perfumer Jack Flory has done an amazing job uh, Jack Flory has I think created Opus 4 also which is also an amazing fragrance so the last thing which I want to talk about before I end this particular review is there is a rumor that uh, it has been reformulated now I can confirm that it has not been reformulated uh, there are two reasons for it I had the vintage formulation of it which I tried four or five years back and this is the new formulation which I've got. There isn't any difference in it. And I also have got it confirmed from Georgeov, who has uh, clearly said that this has not been reformulated. So don't fall for that trap where someone sells you this particular perfume with a vintage formulation. There is no vintage formulation of this. So yeah, so I so guys, if you want to buy this perfume, I highly recommend you. Uh, I will probably give this 9.5 out of 10 the only reason I think there is the only drop drawback I see of this particular perfume is the price point of it uh, the price point of 470 euro for 100 ml is a quite a high price point to pay but for this experience uh, and also in uh, the gray market you can get this uh, much cheaper uh, you can probably get this around 25,000 rupees for 100 ml uh, I know even that is a very huge price, but compared to the retail price of more than 50,000, I think that is a steal. So yeah, so I think uh, uh, if you're looking for an experience, if you're looking for a royal perfume, a signature perfume, then George of Richwood is the way to go for it. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this particular review. And if you're liking the content I'm providing to you, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. And have a wonderful day. Bye-bye. Cheers.